So uh, present day, STEM learners, this is again Sir Peter, your virtual pre-calculus teacher. So we are still on week number two about parabolas. And I hope you were able to watch the two recorded video lessons about the definition of a parabola and the standard equation of a parabola vertex at zero, zero. But this time, we'll have another type of vertex. So for this video lesson, we should be able to illustrate parabolas with vertex at HK, meaning the point is located anywhere on the Cartesian plane. So here are the formulas that you need to browse in the SIPA. So let me briefly discuss with you how to look at this table. So the equation of the parabola with horizontal axis can be represented by the quantity y minus k squared is equal to 4c times the quantity x minus h squared. Notice that if given is the y part is squared and the x part is linear, then parabola are horizontal, meaning they will either open to the left or they will open to the right, depending on the value of 4c. So if 4c is positive, then it is a parabola which opens to the right. If 4c is negative, then it is a parabola which opens to the left. Did you get it? Now, for the standard equation of the parabola which opens upward or downward, the standard equation is as follows. So we have the quantity x minus h squared is equal to 4c times the quantity y minus k. So notice that the x part is squared, while the y part is linear. So it's the total opposite. And if the parabola opens upward, 4c should be positive, which is the lattice rectum. And if the um, lattice rectum is negative, has a negative value on the formula, okay? So that is a parabola which opens downward. Do not forget that the lattice rectum is always positive, but it's only written on the formula that sometimes it becomes positive or negative to give us an idea about the location of the um, focus of the parabola. So for the focus, we follow this formula. It's either plus or minus depending on the position, okay? Same, same through with the um, lattice, the end points of the lattice rectum. The axis of symmetry, you follow this formula, y is equal to k. And for the axis of symmetry, um, for a parabola which opens upward or downward, we have x is equal to h. For the direct x, we have x is equal to h minus c. And for this one, we have y is equal to um, k minus c. Do not forget that when the equation is y equals, it's a horizontal line. And when the equation is vertical, it's x is equal to something. Okay, so that is how you should understand this. Again, let's review about vertical parabolas. Okay, it opens upward or downward. Horizontal. So we have um, to the left or to the right. Now, let's have an example on how to graph uh, parabolas vertex at HK. So first is to determine the opening of the parabola. So the op based from the formula, the opening of the parabola is either upward or downward. But I, Sir Peter can already decide that this parabola opens upward. Why? Because 
of the value of 4C. So the value of 4C is equal to 4. Dividing both sides by 4. So we have C is equal to 1. So therefore, the distance from the vertex going to the focus is 1 unit only. In the same way, the distance from the vertex going to the directrix of this given um, parabola is also one unit, while the length of the lattice rectum is four units. So following the formula, we can identify the vertex of the given parabola. Notice that x is always with h and y is always with k. And the same pattern, as in determining the equation of the circle, we invert sign. So if you see in formula negative one, the vertex now is at one. Okay, this is the abscissa of the vertex. The ordinate the vertex, we have the opposite of positive one in the formula that is negative one. So now you can locate our vertex. So the vertex now is at 1, negative 1. And that is located on the fourth quadrant. From the vertex, we identified the focus. Since it's upward, the focus is at 1, 0. And then for the direct x, it's located below the vertex. So that is located somewhere here. So we can now draw the line, the line, or the direct, the horizontal line. Okay. Do not forget the direct, the direct X is also a line. So this is the vertex again. Our vertex is at one, negative one. Okay. Now, from the focus, we now draw the length of the lattice rectum. And since the length of the lattice rectum is four units, we move two units to the left of the focus here. Oh, you can see it. Two units to the left. And two units also to the, sorry, to the right, I mean, and then to the left. Then let's determine the coordinates of the endpoints of the lattice rectum so that we can connect now this respective lines. Okay. So let allow me to draw the curve now, connecting the endpoints of the lattice rectum, the vertex, and then to the other endpoint. Make it a smooth curve. Do not forget that. And again, our 4C is um, 4. Focus is located at 1, 0. The equation of the directrix is at y is equal to negative 2 because it passes through this point at negative 2. Okay, it's similar to the y axis at negative 2. So we use y equals negative 2. Um, so what else? We should also um, label the standard equation of the parabola. So that is the quantity x minus 1 squared is equal to 4 times the quantity y plus 1. So c. So that is now the graph of a parabola with equation the quantity x minus 1 squared is equal to 4 times the quantity y plus 1. So I hope we did not miss something. I think I missed one part also, which is important, the imaginary line. That line is what we call the, what? The axis of symmetry. And in here, since this is a vertical line, we name this axis of symmetry as x equals. So since it passes through 1, 
So this is x equals h, your h value, this one. Okay, so I think this is now the complete illustration of its graph. Let's have the next one. Consequently, when we put a negative sign, therefore, by the vertex, so I'll just briefly draw this one without the labels. So again, the vertex is at one negative one. But this time, the focus is one unit. I'm sorry. The focus is one unit below the vertex, while the direct X is located one unit above the vertex. So we have this line. Okay, which is the directrix. Next, we also create the, the line along the focus, two units to the left, then two units to the left and right, both to the left and right. And then connect. And we now have the parabola. Okay, so um, I'll not I'll I'll be not de detailing everything because I already told you what to put into the graph. So what's important is you could observe how it changes when I change the value of our lattice rectum. Next, this will be quite confusing because this time the vertex is not at one negative one. Always remember that y part is always with k value and x part is always with h. So therefore, this parabola opens to the right because 4 is positive. Okay, so since this opens to the right, then same thing. 4c is equal to 4, so we will get t equals 1. So from the vertex, let us identify now the coordinates of the vertex. It should be at age k. So age is negative 1, and then um, k is positive 1. So therefore, the vertex is at negative 1, 1, and which quadrant it is located. So it is now located on the second quadrant. And then since it's a parabola which opens the right, so this is now the focus. This is where the directrix is located. So we draw the line. And then the focus determines the direction of the parabola. And along the focus, we determine two units above and below the focus to draw the Lacus rectum here. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Then we connect the endpoint of the lattus rectum. It's not visible in the graph. Okay. Simply connect. Connect. And then do not forget to label everything including the axis of symmetry, okay? And the names of the equations, the equation of the direct x, the equation of the last track, I'm sorry, the equation of the um, axis of symmetry, the coordinates of the focus, the coordinates of the vertex, and um, the name of the parabola itself. The same thing, when I make this one negative, then the parabola now is um, located or it opens now to the left. So the focus is here, the directrix is here. Then uh, in, a, in the opposite direction, we draw the, um, I'm sorry, no? 
This is the, sorry, the directrix, I mean. So this is the directrix. And the latus rectum is located here for units. Okay. And we connect the end of the latus rectum to form the tabula which opens to the left. So it's really difficult to draw a curved line using zoom annotations. So I'm trying my best to make it a smooth curve. So that's how your graph should look like. No? Do not forget the axis of symmetry also. Label the focus, label the vertex, label the equation of the directrix, the equation of the axis of symmetry, and the equation of the parabola, which is the quantity y minus one squared is equal to the quantity is equal to negative four times the quantity x plus one. Do not forget that it's quite confusing because this is k, okay, and this is h. So for a parabola which opens to the left and right, um, do not mix up everything, okay? We only follow the pattern hk when it is upward or downward. In here, the formula suggests a k and an h. So when you write vertex, it should follow na ito muna yung isusulat nyo doon. And then kama, then yung K, dito nyo siya isusulat sa ordinate. So for the abdisa, we have A, the ordinate is K. So now, you know how to illustrate the equation of a parabola which either opens upward, downward, to the left, or to the right. Don't get confused because we have um, this um, set of formulas that you need to remember so that you will be properly guided. So I hope that this video lesson has helped you. So here are, here are the references used in this presentation. So this is my favorite question. Did you learn something from the video lesson? So we are now done with week number two, Parablas we will still have our online enlightening discussion. So for our next video lesson, we will talk about the definition of the ellipse and of course, the standard of the equation of the ellipse center at zero, zero and the standard equation of the ellipse vert um, center at HK also. So we will have three video lessons for the ellipse. So that is the end of my presentation again. So this is Sir Peter, your pre-calculus teacher.